The University of Bath is a public university located in Bath, Somerset, United Kingdom. It received its Royal Charter in 1966, along with a number of other institutions following the Robbins Report. Like the University of Bristol and University of the West of England, Bath can trace its roots to the Merchant Venturers Technical College, established in Bristol as a school in 1595 by the Society of Merchant Venturers. The university's main campus is located on Claverton Down, a site overlooking the city of Bath, and was purpose-built, constructed from 1964 in the modernist style of the time. In the 2014 Research Excellence Framework, 32% of Bath's submitted research activity achieved the highest possible classification of 4 asterisk, defined as world-leading in terms of originality, significance and rigor. 87% was graded 4 asterisk, 3 asterisk, defined as world-leading, internationally excellent. The annual income of the institution for 2017-18 was £287.9 million of which £37 million was from research grants and contracts, with an expenditure of £283.1 million. As of 2018, in national rankings the university is currently placed 5th according to The Guardian, 11th in the Complete University Guide and 12th by The Times, Sunday Times. Internationally it is placed in the top 400 by the 2016 ARWU and has featured in the top 300 in the 2016, 2017 and 2018 the World University Rankings. In the Times and the Sunday Times Good University Guide 2014 the university was awarded the title of Best Campus University in Britain and in 2012 the title of University of the Year 2011-12, the university is a member of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, the Association of MBAs, the European Quality Improvement System, the European University Association, Universities UK and GW4. History The University of Bath can trace its roots to the Merchant Venturers Technical College whose alumni include the physicists Paul Dirac and Peter Higgs, an institution founded as a school in 1595 and a technical school established in Bristol in 1856 which became part of the Society of Merchant Venturers in 1885. Meanwhile, in the neighbouring city of Bath, a pharmaceutical school, the Bath School of Pharmacy, was founded in 1907. This became part of the Technical College in 1929. The college came under the control of the Bristol Education Authority in 1949, it was renamed then the Bristol College of Technology, and in 1960 the Bristol College of Science and Technology, when it became one of ten technical colleges under the umbrella of the Ministry of Education. The college was mainly housed in the former Muller's Orphanage at Ashley Down in Bristol, which still houses part of the city of Bristol College whilst the remainder has been converted into residential housing. <laughs> <laughs> University status In 1963, the Robbins Committee report paved the way for the college along with a number of other institutions to assume university status as Bath University of Technology. Although the grounds of King's Western House, in Bristol, were briefly considered—which then, and until 1969, accommodated the college's School of Architecture and Building Engineering, the city of Bristol was unable to offer the expanding college an appropriately sized single site. Following discussions between the college principal and the director of education in Bath, an agreement was reached to provide the college with a new home in Claverton Down, Bath, on a greenfield site, purchased through a compulsory purchase order from the Candy family of Norwood Farm, overlooking the city. Construction of the purpose-built campus began in 1964, with the first building, now known as 4 South, completed in 1965, and the Royal Charter was granted in 1966. 
In November 1966, the first degree ceremony took place at the assembly rooms in Bath. Over the subsequent decade, new buildings were added as the campus took shape. In the mid 19th century, there were plans to build a college of the University of Oxford on the site. The university logo features the so called Gorgon's head, which is taken, via the university's coat of arms, from a Roman sculpture found in the city. Until 30 October 2012, it was also a member of the 1994 group. A report by the Higher Education Funding Council for England into governance at the university was published on 20 November 2017. Controversies In November 2017, frustration with the governance of the university grew, especially concerning the Vice-Chancellor, Glynis Breakwell's remuneration. The HEFCE carried out an inquiry and recommended 13 changes to the governance of the university. In November 2017, Breakwell's salary rose by 3.9% pounds to over £468,000 and she was reported as the highest paid vice-chancellor in the country. The university and college union had an emergency meeting of all staff to discuss the issue and the Students' Union organized a vote of no confidence involving all undergraduate and postgraduate students. To date, four MPs have resigned from the advisory board at the University of Bath in protest against the Vice-Chancellor's pay package. On 5 March 2018, at 13.30, a group of ten Bath students supporting the UCU strike action occupied the Vice-Chancellor's suite in protest of the university's support for UK's proposed pension reforms. The occupation was endorsed by Bath MP Wera Hobhouse. The university was criticised for its initial response to the protesters, blocking the entrance to the only freely accessible toilets in the occupied area for the first 21 hours of the occupation. The university's response was criticised by local councillor Joe Raymond, alumnus Marcus Sedgwick, NUS Black Students Officer, and prompted the resignation of an external examiner. In September 2018, it was announced that Ian H. White would take over from Glynis Breakwell as Vice Chancellor in April 2019. <laughs> Campus and facilities Topic. Main campus The university's main campus is located on Claverton Down, approximately 1.5 miles from the centre of Bath. The site is compact, it is possible to walk from one end to the other in 15 minutes. The design involved the separation of vehicular and pedestrian traffic, with road traffic on the ground floors and pedestrians on a raised central thoroughfare, known as the parade. Buildings would line the parade and student residences built on tower blocks rise from the central thoroughfare. Such plans were mostly followed. At the center of the campus is the Library and Learning Center, a facility open round the clock offering computing services, information and research assistance as well as books and journals. A number of outlets are housed around the parade, including restaurants, bars and fast food cafes, plus two banks, a union shop and two small supermarkets, as well as academic blocks. Building names are based on their location and distance vis-a-vis -vis the library e.g. 1 East, 2 East. Odd-numbered buildings are on the same side of the parade as the library, and even-numbered buildings are on the opposite side. Buildings along the east-west axis are mostly directly accessible from the parade, which is generally considered to be level 2. But later additions, such as 7 West, 9 West, 3 West North and 8 East, follow the rule less strictly. 7 West is generally accessible only via 5 West or 9 West, and 3 West North, 9 West and 8 East have entrances at ground level at varying distances from the main parade. Buildings on the south of the campus, 1 South to 4 South, are accessible via roads and pedestrian walkways by the University Lake and Gardens. 
Buildings, as in many of the so-called plate glass universities, were constructed in a functional modernist style using concrete, although such designs were later derided for lacking the charm of the Victorian red brick universities or the ancient and medieval ones. In Bath, there is a particular contrast between the concrete campus and the Georgian-style architecture of the World Heritage City of Bath. The eastern part of the campus is dominated by the Sports Training Village, built in 1992 and enhanced in 2003 with an extension. The northern perimeter of the university is bounded by student residences Brendan Court, Eastwood, Marlborough Court, Salisbury Court, Norwood House, Osborne House, Polden Court, The Quads, Westwood, and Woodland Court. The original plan for students to be housed in tower blocks above the parade continues with the small number of rooms 110 in Norwood House. However, the second tower block, Wessex House, now hosts offices rather than residences. The university also owns buildings in the city of Bath, mostly student accommodation dotted around town, including Canal Wharf, Carpenter House, Cleveland's Building, John Wood Building and John Wood Court, Pulteney Court and Thornbank Gardens. There is also an innovation centre that provides workspace, practical support and expertise to local technology enterprises and entrepreneurial companies that emerge from the university's student and academic research base. Two new buildings were opened in 2017. The Virgil Building, adapted from a former police station, offers a hub and support for students and staff in the center of Bath, including professional, counseling and careers services, JobLink, a skills center and learning commons. The university also opened a centre at 83 Pall Mall in central London, with a stated aim of building partnerships and engaging with business, politics and Bath's alumni community in the UK's capital. Over several years, the grounds have received recognition for their outstanding beauty with awards from Bath in Bloom. Topic campus developments The university continually upgrades its Claverton down campus with new teaching blocks. A proposal to move the boundary of the Green Belt away to the edge of the campus to facilitate further development was agreed in October 2007 by the local council following a public inquiry, although the boundary of the Cotswolds area of outstanding natural beauty still crosses the site. In July 2005, Building 3 West North officially opened on the 27th of October was completed. The deconstruction of the asbestos-contaminated 4 West was completed in mid-2005 and the 4 West building opened in April 2010, providing additional teaching and office space. Completed projects 4 West, complete with cafe, completed March 2010 a new student center, completed October 2010 the East Building, a multifunction building, offices and teaching rooms, completed May 2011 the Chancellor's Building, new teaching facilities, completed October 2013 the Quads is a new student accommodation building on campus with 703 on suite bedrooms, completed summer 2014 the Edge opened in early 2015 and has teaching facilities, theatre, gallery, performance and rehearsal studios 1 West refurbishment to add new learning and research facilities and computer laboratories and offices 4 East South, a new building providing research and teaching space for the Faculty of Engineering and Design as well as a cutting-edge computing data centre. Opened June 2016 10 West, a multifunction building which will allow the expansion of the Department of Psychology, a new home for the Institute of Policy Research as well as providing dedicated postgraduate study space. Formally opened on 20 July 2016 by Professor Dame Vicky Bruce. The Virgil Building, a £4.5 million investment to transform the former police station on Manvers Street into a learning zone with office space for student-facing services including study space, training rooms and a coffee bar. Office space is also provided for the careers service, student services and others for advice and guidance. The Milner Centre for Evolution, a £7 million development dedicated to evolution research. The centre formally opened in September 2018. 
Polden Corner, to provide 300 postgraduate bed spaces on the western edge of campus close to existing campus accommodation. <laughs> University of Bath in Swindon The university opened a second site, Oakfield Campus, in 2000 on Marlow Road Swindon, on a site leased from the council. Formerly Oakfield School, the site was jointly funded by the university and Swindon Council. Officially the University of Bath in Swindon, the campus offered undergraduate courses in childhood studies and social work. The campus was closed in the summer of 2008. Under the Gateway Project, the university had planned to build a major new campus next to the Great Western Hospital and the Cote Water Nature Reserve. The project had met opposition from environmentalists and locals but had met with government approval. The university withdrew from the project in March 2007, citing prevailing planning and funding conditions. Topic: Organization. The university is divided into four faculties, and each faculty into various departments. Topic: Academic profile. The university's major academic strengths have been engineering particularly electronic and electrical and mechanical, the physical sciences, mathematics and technology. Today, the university is also strong in management, humanities, architecture and the social sciences. Courses place a strong emphasis on vocational education. The university recommends students to take a one year industry placement in the penultimate year of the course, although there is no formal recognition of these placements on students' final degree certificates. According to the latest government assessments, Bath has 15 subjects rated excellent, the highest on the scale. These are, Pharmacy and Pharmacology, Business and Management AMBRA accredited, Architecture and Civil Engineering, Economics, Computer Science, Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering AMECI accredited, Mathematics, Statistics and Operational Research, Education, Molecular Biosciences, Biosciences, Physics and Astronomy, Politics, Sport, Social Policy and Administration. Topic research Bath was ranked joint 12th in the UK amongst multi-faculty institutions for the quality GPA of its research and 33rd for its research power in the 2014 Research Excellence Framework. Over half of the submissions were ranked in the top 10 nationally in their units of assessment. Six out of 13 submissions were ranked in the top 20. Bath has been awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize twice. In 2011, the university received the award for the Department of Social and Policy Sciences Influential Research into Child Poverty and Support for Vulnerable People. The university also received the prize in 2000 to recognize the invaluable services to industrial and scientific communities of the Center for Power Transmission and Motion Control. Topic Rankings and reputation National University of Bath received a gold award as part of the UK Government's Teaching Excellence Framework The framework evaluates universities on criteria including teaching quality, learning environment and student outcomes, taking into account factors such as student satisfaction, retention rates and employment. Bath is ranked 11th in the Complete University Guide 2018 league table and has 18 subjects placed within the top 10 in the UK. Architecture and marketing are ranked number 1. The university is ranked fifth in the Guardian University Guide 2018. Bath is ranked 12th of 128 universities across the UK in the Good University Guide. In the Sunday Times 10 year 1998 to 2007 average ranking of British universities based on consistent league table performance, Bath was ranked 12th overall in the UK. 
Bath was one of only eight universities along with the G5, St Andrews and Warwick to have never left the top 15 in one of the three main domestic rankings between 2008 to 2017 according to data released by the Department for Education in 2018. Bath was rated as the seventh best university in the UK for boosting male graduate earnings with male graduates seeing a 22.2% increase in earnings compared to the average graduate, and the eighth best university for females, with female graduates seeing a 15.2% increase in earnings compared to the average graduate. Bath was ranked 13th out of 122 UK institutions in the 2017 Times Higher Education the Student Experience Survey. Bath students were joint most likely to recommend the university to their friends. International and the QS World University Rankings 2018 Bath is ranked 160 out of 959 institutions. The university is ranked 167th out of 750 major institutions in the 2017 Leiden Ranking. Topic: Admissions. The university has grown rapidly, particularly in the last few years. In the 2016-17 academic year 17,308 students studied at the university, of whom 13,051 were undergraduates and 4,257 were postgraduates. Around 30% of students are international students those with non-British domicile with the largest number coming from China including Hong Kong, France, India and Malaysia. 27.4% of Bath's undergraduates are privately educated, the 11th highest proportion amongst mainstream British universities. In the 2016–17 academic year, the university had a domicile breakdown of 71 hours 10 minutes and 19 seconds of UK, EU, non-EU students respectively with a female to male ratio of 47 to 53. Applications outside the EU to the university for undergraduate courses dropped 18.5% at a time early in the recruitment cycle that these applications to competing universities grew by 11.5% for the 2018-19 academic year. Topic: Student life. Topic: Sports and Teambuth. Teambuth is the University of Bath's sporting organisation. The university is host to Team Bath FC as well as some of the UK's top Olympic athletes. It has one of the best sports facilities in a United Kingdom university, spread over three main sites, two on the Claverton Down campus, known as the Founders Hall and Sports Training Village which also hosts the English Institute of Sport for South West England, and at the Sulis Club, a few miles away in Coombe Down. In 2009, Malaysia signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU with the University of Bath to enable Malaysian athletes preparing for the 2012 London Olympics to train there. The University of Bath was used to prepare athletes for the London Olympics and other sports events like the 2014 Commonwealth Games, the Badminton Super Series and cycling circuits in Europe. It continues to be used as an important venue for elite athletes. Facilities at the university include a fitness suite, four squash courts, indoor 110 meters and outdoor 400 meters athletics tracks, multi-purpose sport halls including basketball, netball and badminton courts, an eight-court indoor tennis hall, a judo, karate, jiu-jitsu dojo and centers for sports science and sports medicine. Outdoor synthetic and natural pitches and grounds cater for football, rugby union, field hockey, lacrosse, and American football. A rowing shed on the River Avon for the rowing club was built in 2008. As of late April 2015, a London 2012 Games Legacy 50m swimming pool was installed. 
limited free use of these facilities, with restrictions on times, bookings and frequency of use, can be obtained by students with a membership of the university's sport association. Alternatively, reduced prices are available to students and staff. There are also semi-competitive, recreational sporting events. Topic Students Union The University of Bath Students Union formerly BUSU, known as the Sioux University of Bath has been recognised by the NUS as one of the top three in the UK. It runs over 100 clubs and societies including sports clubs, cultural, arts, interest and faith societies. Some notable examples are, Bath Rag collects money for local and national charities, raising over £1 million since 1966 The arts societies including student theatre, musicals, dance, and various musical groups performs plays and other shows to audiences both on campus and in the town, with support provided by backstage technical services. The Students' Union faith groups include Buddhist, Christian, Islamic, Jewish societies as well as an Atheists, Humanists and Secularists society. Three student media outlets, a fortnightly student newspaper, Bath Time, a radio station, University Radio Bath, and a television station, Campus TV, CTV. Topic notable alumni Arts and Media Shatala, television producer Rob Bell, TV presenter Keith Christmas, English folk, rock musician Ian Cognito, comedian actual name, Paul Barbieri, Nigel Dick, pop music video producer Rob Fisher, keyboardist and songwriter with Naked Eyes and Climby Fisher, Neil Fox, radio DJ and TV presenter Alex Gifford, one half of the English electronic music duo Propellerheads Mike Graham, journalist and radio broadcaster. Broadcaster for Talksport Gareth Gwynn, comedy writer and presenter for radio and TV Sean Lee, Hong Kong film actor Chuck Farah, American screenwriter, novelist, former U.S. Navy SEAL Catherine Roberts, author Russell Sr., formerly of the band Pulp Jonty Usborne, radio engineer politicians, lawyers, and civil servants Peter Butcher, British diplomat and ambassador to Turkmenistan Sir Stephen Dalton, Chief of Air Staff, Raf Don Foster, Liberal Democrat former MP for Bath Sandra Gidley, former Liberal Democrat MP for Romzi Mohamed Fahmy Hassan, Chairman of Maldives Civil Service Commission Mansour Hekmat, Iranian Communist leader Yang Jiechi, Foreign Minister of the People's Republic of China Eric Joyce, Labour MP for Falkirk T.S. Krishnamurthy, former Chief Election Commissioner of India David Curtin, UKIP member of the London Assembly Edward Loasa, former Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania Near Anne McLean, member of the 2013 NASA astronaut class Mohammad Tufik Rahim, former Iraqi Minister of Industry and Mines Julia Reid, UK Independence Party MEP Karen Smith, Labour MP for Bristol South Fala Mustafa Bakir, Foreign Minister of Iraqi Kurdistan Business People Paul S. Allen, business magnate and President of Cognis Corp Robert Fry, Executive Chairman of the McKinney Rogers Group, former Vice President of Hewlett Packard, served as Commandant General Royal Marines Robin Hayes, CEO of JetBlue Airways Corporation Sir Julian Horn Smith, former COO of Vodafone Justin King, former CEO of Sainsbury's Kieran O'Neill, entrepreneur Tom Pellero, inventor and winner of the seventh series of The Apprentice Stuart Till, chairman of United International Pictures and Millwall FC Bob Wigley, former chairman Merrill Lynch, Europe, Middle East and Africa, chairman of Yale Group Police Academics Doug Altman, found founder and director of Centre for Statistics in Medicine and Cancer Research UK Medical Statistics Group Nigel Healy, Vice-Chancellor at Fiji National University Florence Wambugu, African plant pathologist and virologist Saleh Mohamed Yassin, Director of International Institute for Global Health at the United Nations University and former Vice-Chancellor of the National University of Malaysia Sports Personalities Marcus Bateman, former British rower Steve Borthwick, 
former Bath and England rugby union player Pamela Cookie, a member of the England netball team that won bronze at the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games Rachel Dunn, international English netball player Joe Labd, RC Toulonay rugby union player Morgan Evans, Gloucestershire All Golds rugby league player Kelly Gallagher, Alpine skier, won Britain's first ever Winter Paralympic gold medal during Sochi 2014 Paralympic Games Mark Hardinger's, cricketer Rachel Howard, badminton player Kate Howie, British judo player, represented Great Britain at four Olympic Games, winning bronze at Barcelona in 1992 and silver in Sydney James Hudson, London Irish and England Saxons rugby union player Michael Jameson, swimmer, won the silver medal in the 200m breaststroke at the 2012 Summer Olympic Games Katie Livingston, modern pentathlon, competed in Beijing Olympics and won individual bronze at the 2008 World Championships. Richard Mantle, played for the GB hockey team at the Beijing Olympic Games Samantha Murray, modern pentathlete, won the silver medal at the 2012 Summer Olympic Games Marilyn Okoro, 400m and 800m runner who made her Olympic debut in Beijing Gareth Rees, Glamorgan CCC cricketer Ben Rushgrove, T36 100m silver medal at the Beijing 2008 Paralympic Games John Slatehome, former English rugby player Heather Stanning, gold medal for British women's rowing at the 2012 Summer Olympics Matt Stevens, Bath, England and British and Irish Lions rugby union player Sam Wheel, modern pentathlon, represented Great Britain at the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games Amy Williams, British skeleton gold medalist at the 2010 Olympic Winter Games Luke Charteris, Wales international rugby union player Craig Pickering, Olympic 100m sprinter, world championship medalist and bobslayer See also equals equals notes. <laughs>